Hello. In this video, you will learn how to create a workspace. Workspace is available in the business plan. You can invite colleagues to host any number of simultaneous events. After you register your personal account at Proficonf, you will be redirected to the meetings page. To create a workspace, click on the section with your personal account in the upper left corner and then click on add workspace in the pop-up menu. In the form for creating a workspace, enter company name, email, select language, available languages, English, Italian, Portuguese, Brazilian, Spanish, Russian. According to the selected language locale, invitation emails will be sent to workspace members and conference participants. Choose a currency. Press the save button. After that, you will see a form with information that a confirmation link has been sent to your email. Go to your inbox, open the email and click verify email. After you confirm your email, you will be redirected to the billing page to add a payment method. Note, for every new workspace with a business email, we provide $25 to test all Proficon features, including integrations. Credits will be provided only once per one business domain. After the credits expire, you need to add a payment method to use all features without restriction. Click the Add button and you will be redirected to the Payment Details section. For a payment card method, select the card menu, fill in the card information, name on card, country or region, and click Save card to save the information. Or select the SEPA Direct Debit menu, fill in the IBAN, name on account, billing address sections. Press the Set up Direct Debit button to save the information. After you create a workspace and add a payment method, you can host meetings and invite workspace members to host any number of events simultaneously and use all available Proficon features. The name of your workspace is displayed in the upper left corner. By clicking on this section you can create an additional workspace. You can create an unlimited number of workspaces and invite any number of members with admin or member roles. Switch between personal account and workspace account. Sign out of the account by pressing the sign out button. In the dashboard section, you can see all the information with usage statistics for minutes of participation in meetings, recordings, live streaming, and storage usage. You can select the required month and check all the usage statistics, including detailed statistics on the events for that month. Next is the meetings section, where you can create an instant, scheduled, or permanent meeting. All of the meetings you've created will display in the upcoming if they haven't started yet, past four completed meetings, and permanent four permanent meetings. By default, 500 gigabytes of disk space is available for workspace to upload and store files. In the Files section, you can upload files beforehand, click the Upload button to upload them. Also, all files that have been uploaded by members are available for the workspace owner and admins. A workspace owner can invite an unlimited number of workspace members to host events. The Members section displays a list of all workspace members. There are three roles available for members in workspace. A member is a member who was invited by the workspace owner. Available opportunities, create, view, edit, and host their own meetings. Upload, view, delete, download, and demonstrate own files. View other members of the workspace account. An admin is a member who was invited by the account owner. Available opportunities, all the same, things a workspace member can do. Invite new members to workspace, cancel these invitations. View and delete any files in workspace. View and delete, update any events that other members have created. Delete workspace members other than the owner. Change roles for members other than the owner. Change workspace settings, except for email changes. View and change billing information. The owner is the member who created the workspace. Available opportunities, owns the same full permissions as the workspace admin. Can delete all workspace members, including admins. Can edit the email address for workspace. To invite any member to workspace, click the invite button and follow the instructions. The billing section displays overview information, billing info, and payment methods. 
In the Workspace Settings section, the Workspace owner or admin can edit the workspace name and change the language. Only the owner can edit the email address. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media to see more updates.